Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Faces Strategist and welcome back to Skyrim. This time we're taking a look at the Blessing of Nature, which you can get at Whiterun. And right here from the center of this big ass tree, usually on one of these benches there would sit a priest. But since there is no priest, we're just going to go inside the Temple of Kinnereth. What's inside? Go ahead and talk to them. It's a pure spring. Okay. Mm-hmm. What kind of weapon would work? I'll get it. Okay, and that'll essentially start the quest, the blessing of nature. And we'll and I will show you how you can actually do that quest. In any case, here is Riverwood and here is Orphan Rock. Go to the, av the aforementioned Orphan Rock. And once you're actually at Orphan Rock, we're just going to wait for the loading screen to go away. Once you're actually here, you'll be faced with a bunch of witches and bitches. There should also be one Hag Raven which will chunk fireballs at you. But she's relatively easy to kill if you're using ranged weapons or even spells. Okay, so in any case, we will get the weapon from the Hag Raven. There we go, we got the weapon. Now we're just going to... Perfect. Fucking hell. There we go, now just go to the map, go back to Whiterun and we will just talk to Danica again and she will actually tell us where we will need to go. And once you actually go there... Okay, whatever the hell you just gave me... Uh, once we talk to Danica, she will point us to the direction of the Elder Green Moth Thingamajig tree. And once we're at the tree, we'll need to get some sap, then go back to Danica. It's fairly simple. So, oh, I, now, I don't really want to touch what needs to be done? You can use metal vein to retrieve some of its sap. Okay. She's afraid to touch a fucking dagger. A news flash, bitch! You have a dagger around your fucking cloak. In any case, we'll need to head right there. What? My dog is acting up. What? Now she's just staring at me. Bah! <laughs> okay, here we are. Let us just favorite nettle bane. Wherever the fuck it is. G F G G K L N. There we go. Okay, perfect. Pull out your crossbow. And here we are. We're almost there. Uh, you will be attacked by a bunch of those tree swarming things. I forgot their name. Uh huh. I forgot their names. Uh, tree ants. No, they're not tree ants. They're. Uh, what the fuck are they called? Uh, in any case, go up to the trunks, do that. And if you head over here, you will actually gain access to a chest. And basically what you're going to want to do is just get a bunch of sap. And there we go, Spriggans. 
That's what they're called. They're called fucking Spriggans. You'll be attacked by a bunch of Spriggans. And we're basically just going to have to bust our way through the way we came. And that's also fairly simple. There'll be a bunch of uh, fucking Spriggans around, but you can kill them just as easily. But as you can see, the Spriggans actually took care of the Pilgrims. So we don't have to worry about them actually bothering us with useless dialogue. Which is always good in my opinion. In any case, let us just head back to Danica. You can also get some herbs. Which is also quite nice. Herbs are good, herbs are needed, herbs are life. Uh, but you don't get any fun herbs, just the potion making herbs. Which is a shame, but you know. You can't expect Skyrim to have everything. There's a mod for it, I'm 100% sure of that. But, alas, for now. And basically, the tree will then be all revitalized and shit like that. And perhaps you'll gain some generic rewards. But it is a nice quest to do, indeed. Ooh, I've got the sap. Yep, and that's basically it.